How you doing? My name is Trennis Henderson, and you're tuned into the famous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. Thank you so much for tuning in. How the universe works. In this video, I'm going to tell you how the universe works in connection to your mind, your soul, and the reality that exists around you right now, okay? So if you stay tuned throughout this video, I'm gonna reveal to you some super powerful information that if you listen closely enough, will make you super human. This information will expand your consciousness and you will be much more knowing than you were before you started watching this video, after this video. And also, I wanna offer you a very special offer at the end of this video okay so stay tuned and i have some really cool stuff that i want to present to you at the end of this video all right so let's get right down into it now one thing that you must know about the universe is that what you see out your two eyes the reality that you see around you is the three-dimensional world you know how when you go to the movie theater and you get a movie that's in 3D and you have to put on the 3D glasses and you're like, oh man, is, is it right there? Like Godzilla is not like right here in front of you. It's just the glasses that make the movie three dimensional. But in all actuality, there are many dimensions to the universe that go beyond the third dimension, which is what you see out of your two eyes right now. Now, you tap into different dimensions by activating your third eye. The third eye is located on the inside of your brain. In the very center of your mind, you will find the third eye, also known as the pineal gland, okay? Also known as the seat of the soul. Also known as the eye of Horus. If you follow or study the ancient Egyptians, you can recall them making hieroglyphs with this so-called eye of Horus or what the dollar bill says is the all-seeing eye. This all-seeing eye is you. It's located in the very center, middle of your mind. And you must have it activated in order to see dimensions that go beyond the third dimension, such as the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, sixth dimension, seventh dimension, and beyond, okay? Now, this third eye in the middle of your brain does not see like your two eyes, okay? It doesn't see like visual colors and birds flying like we see, okay? It sees from an inner consciousness. It's your imagination, okay? It's the inner visions that you have in your mind that you can think of, but you can't necessarily see them lucidly. Okay, so this third eye is in connection with the two eyes that you're seeing with out of your eyes right now. Okay, but you have to activate it in order to know how the universe works and to see many dimensions that go beyond the third dimension. Okay, another thing that you should know about how the universe works is the universe works with numbers. Okay, you have to be very good with numbers to know how the universe works. You have to be a great mathematician to know how the universe works, which is why most people are not really good at math. So if you're not really good at math, you're not really gonna know how the universe works. There are a lot of people who see synchronicities from the universe, such as repeated numbers like 1111 or 222. Why do you keep saying 333 or 888? That's because the universe communicates in a language called numbers okay the whole universe is built on mathematics okay and arithmetics okay and formulas okay the whole universe is structured around numbers and in order to understand the universe you have to learn more about numbers numerology numeric learning okay so keep that in mind when you start seeing repeating numbers that are trying to connect you to the divine power of the universe. The universe 
also talk in a language called numbers. Now, another way the universe communicates, okay, and operates is through music, tone, uh, flows, rhythms, seasons, okay? The universe has its very own music playing right now as we speak. Even in space, it is said that each star, such as Mars, Venus, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, Jupiter, all of these stars have their very own tones that they are playing constantly as they rotate around the Earth. Even the sun has a low dense tone, okay, called Mesa. So everything in the universe is a music song playing even as we speak, okay? So keep that in mind that the universe, it works in rhythms, okay? It works in flow. You got high tide and then it goes back to low tide, okay? The sun rises and then the sun settles again. Then the next thing you know, you see the moon. Then the seasons change and then the season goes away and then the season comes back again. Everything goes in a rhythm and in seasons and in flows and in tones and in harmonies, okay? So when it comes to your very own life, okay, your soul is also connected to the divine power of the universe. So your very own life, your very own soul, okay, undergoes its rhythm and harmony in connection to the universe and everything that you must experience must come to you in due time, in due season okay there are some things you're probably wanting in your life right now that you know that you are deserving of right but the reason why you probably don't have it right now is because you're still in rhythm with the universe okay you have to be a little bit patient and know that that time will come in its due season okay now here's another clue about the universe okay you cannot be in great connection with the universe if you have negative intentions, okay? Because the universe operates on laws, okay? And one of those laws is called cause and effect, which some people call it karma, okay? Now, karma also really doesn't exist, not unless one believes that he shall be punished or he feels convicted of something that he did to somebody else. OK, but the universe works in laws and it's one of these laws is called cause and effect. So if you have a negative spirit or you do something negative towards somebody else, just know because you did that or you said that that action that you perform must have an effect. OK, so it must come back around. That's the universe all the time. What goes around always comes back around because the universe it flows in cycles and laws okay so keep that in mind in order to get positive results out of the universe make sure that you're putting positive out into the universe so that positive can come back because if you put negative intentions into the universe if you're doing malicious things to people around you in the universe just know that the universe works in cycles okay and whatever that negative intention was that you put out into the universe it has to come back to you okay so keep that in mind about the universe the universe works with positive energy okay so another thing that about the universe is that there's a heaven and hell in your mind okay a lot of people are trapped in the hell parts of their mind okay and they, they let negative thoughts rob them of all the good that they are allowed and so that's one thing i said like negative energy that you put out into the universe it must come back so it's it's very important that you stay away from negative thought patterns even okay the hell in your mind is a place in your mind where all of your positive thoughts are uh suffocated by negative thinking negative thoughts okay the objective in order to get in connection with the universe and how the universe works is on the love frequency, okay? The love frequency, the positive energy frequency. So you have to jump into the heavenly parts of your mind, okay? That's heaven and that's hell. It's in your mind. It's what you think, 
It's what you speak. It's how you behave. It's how you act. It's what you do. Are you doing negative or are you doing positive? Are you staying in the heavenly parts of thinking or are you letting yourself be robbed by the thieves in the alleyways of your thought patterns and the hell parts of your mind? Okay. Another thing that you must understand about how the universe works is the universe works in connections. Okay. Pieces, puzzles. It's kind of like connecting the dots. Like if you're trying to manifest something into your life that you want, it's not necessarily gonna come in a lump sum or it's not necessarily just gonna pop up like magic and just be right here, right now in time and space, okay? The universe usually works in connections, experiences. And what you have to do once again is have your third eye activated to where you can be in connection with the divine. And then what you see out of your two eyes, you can be able to connect it and correlate it from, to things that you've already experienced in the past through the divine intuition that you get from your third eye being activated, if that makes any sense, okay? So the universe gives you pieces to the puzzle for you to connect, okay? Like I said, the universe doesn't necessarily do things for you because the power of the universe is already within you. Okay, but it's up to you to put forth the power that's within you and to commit the actions, okay, to create the experiences and the desired effect that you want to create for your life by connecting the dots. How did this experience compare to this experience that you experienced on Wednesday? Okay, all right, you were given something that was close to something that you want to manifest, but it means that use this to get to the ultimate goal of your manifestation. Put the puzzle pieces together. And just like a real puzzle, you might not be able to put the whole puzzle together in one day, okay? But if you're connected to your third eye, you can see the image on the box of the puzzle in your mind's eye before you actually put the puzzle together, okay? So it takes patience and it takes time putting in the work day after day, coming back to that puzzle, working those puzzle pieces, to see how you can connect the dots to get the vision that you want, okay? This is how the universe works, folks. It works in connections, it works in pieces, it works in puzzles, it works in a way that it wants you to connect the dots, all right? I'll give you an example. Yesterday I saw a video that popped up on my news feed and the title was how was I able to survive out at sea for 77 days? And the title just caught my attention. And so it just led me to watch the video. And so I watched how this man was stranded in the ocean for 77 days from day one to day 77. And, you know, I was perplexed during the whole time of the video because I was just wondering and I was amazed of how somebody could actually remain sane and be out in the ocean in the middle of nowhere and still survive. I mean, I knew he was gonna survive, otherwise they would not have put the video up and made it a documentary, okay? But this guy went day after day after day, you know, having to connect to his mind, using the power of his soul, you know, versus what he saw with his reality, okay? So clearly the guy knew something or learned something about how the universe works. And so that's one of the questions that I was asking myself as I was watching this guy survive out in the middle of this, in the sea. I was just like, I wonder how the universe works. You know, because I'm looking at the sun going up and down after day one, day two, day three, and I'm looking at the flow and the pattern of the water. Like, where's that water flowing to? How is it getting him to somewhere that's going to save his life? The pattern of the ocean. Okay. Well, that led me to something else. Okay. The next day, the next day when I went to sleep, okay, I woke up at 345 in the morning. For those of you who watch my channel, if you haven't subscribed to me, you better make sure you subscribe. For those of you who watch my channel, you know just recently, I just uploaded a video about what it means to wake up in the middle of the night from three to 5 a.m. in the morning, right? If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it right here, okay? So, I woke up somewhere between three o'clock and 3.45, okay? 
and I knew what it was. The universe had woken me up, okay, so that I could get a revelation on something, so that I could see something, you know, usually from your third eye when it's in the middle of the night because the moon is out, okay, and these moon energies give different knowledge than what you could get during the day, okay, in the sunlight, okay? So if you are really wanting to get answers for something in your life and you really want to connect with the source of the universe, okay, you will usually wake up from 3 to 5 a.m. in the morning and that time you should meditate and, and take time to listen at what the source in the universe is telling you. And so I went down a different road of thoughts and thinking and I came to the consensus that I should get on my cell phone and I should look up something and so when I looked up this one thing that the intuition told me to look up the next thing you know it led me to something else and then I was researching and I was researching something else and then something else and then all of a sudden I came to this book okay I came to this secret PDF file that I had uncovered that was talking about how the universe works. Never had I ever read any literature that was written the way it was, okay? Come to find out, it was something that Plato had wrote, okay? For those of you who don't know who Plato is, Plato was a famous, okay, a famous old uh, metaphysicist, okay, from way back in the day, okay? An astrologist, okay? He knew a lot about the universe and how the universe works. And so I was reading this book, you know, from 4 to 5 a.m. in the morning, and I was just taking in all of this wonderful knowledge. It was blowing my mind because it was answering the very questions that I had that I was asking myself when I saw the video of the guy who had to survive out of sea for 77 days. How does the universe work? How did the universe know how to get him to shore so that he can be saved? Wow. And so I have this very special book that talks about uh, the stars. I mean, it talks about the stars. It talks about all the planets. It talks about colors. You know, it talks about taste. It talks about smells. It talks about the air, the birds, the animals. It talks about all of this wonderful knowledge. And the universe revealed that knowledge to me on how the universe works through these two pieces of literature that I unveiled at 3.45 in the morning last night. And I want to offer that to you, okay? Now, it's two books, okay? It's two books. It's one on the cosmetology of the universe, all right? And then it's one on the mathematics of the universe. For those of you math scholars out there who are very good and who are very fascinated with numbers, okay? This one book tells you how to use the numbers in order to decode how the universe works, okay? And the other book just talks basically about the metaphysics of the whole cosmos as a collective, okay? And I wanna give both of those books to you for nothing, okay? A small percentage of nothing, okay? All you have to do is just shoot me an email. Just shoot me an email at the very bottom in the description section or the comment section. Shoot me an email and just make the subject, I want these books or I want those books, okay? And I'll give you one of the books if you just want one, all right? And if you just want or if you want both of the books, I'll give you both of the books, okay? For a little of nothing, okay? So if you want those two secret books that the universe unveiled to me, okay, just send me an email right now. So again, my name is Trinus Henderson, and this is how the universe works in connection with your mind, your soul, and the reality around you and manifestation, okay? So make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon and hit the bell notification too so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos every single day, like these two right here. Check one of these videos out, they're very awesome videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Shoot me an email, get those two secret books. Peace.